Mr. Mohammad Shakib, congratulations on securing All India Rank 6 in Civil Engineering Branch in the GATE 2024 exam. Yes, thank you, sir. Yeah. Uh, Mr. Shakib, uh, you have availed uh, from ES Academy ESC for your ESC preparation 2024 uh, prelims preparation online test series from the ES Academy. Yes, sir. Uh, you please tell us how our ES Academy online test series helped you in your gate preparation and uh, cracking the exam with such a good rank of six. Sir, test series is very important, sir. And uh, once we have covered all the entire subjects, sir, uh, then uh, it we should attempt as many test series as possible. And uh, if sir, it will help to reduce our time uh, thought process uh, in the real examination. And the environment is same as the real exam. So it will boost our confidence once we are we score uh, good marks. So this uh, helps us. So we should uh, attempt as many test series as possible once whole our syllabus is completed. Okay. So, and it will not take much uh, time, sir, as well. So, yes, sir. Right. So the test series plays always a crucial role in the success of the students. Yes, sir. So and it helps to minimize our silly mistakes. Uh, it uh, improves accuracy mm. in uh, exams, sir. Okay. Good. Shakib. Uh, can you tell us which college are you from? When did you pass sir, out? Sir, I am from IIT Patna and uh, I am graduated in 2023 uh, from in BTEC, sir, civil engineering branch. Good. Very good. Very good college, uh, Shakib. Uh, Shakib, in our civil engineering, there are so many subjects, right? You yes, got uh, Alina Rank 6 in the gate examination. Yes, sir. Uh, how many marks you got? Sir, I, I scored uh, 84 points, 82.64 marks. 82.64. Uh, right? Okay, 82.64. Uh, Mr. Shakib, can yes, you sir. tell us uh, uh, which subjects you scored well and from which subjects you could not score? Why you lost that four, what you call around uh, uh, 17 marks you lost, right? Yes, sir. Yeah. Can you please tell something about this? Sir, uh, I have scored uh, uh, really well in all subjects, but uh, some. Some silly mistakes have happened, like uh, uh, two to three questions uh, was uncertain, sir. Answer was correct, uh, yet it was uncertain. Mm. And uh, from mathematics, I have not attempted the two questions. Uh, that's why there I have lost some marks, sir. But overall, the marks is good. And I, sir, soil mechanics uh, and then fluid mechanics, uh, then, sir, structural analysis. So, my core civil engineering subjects were very strong because I have attempted uh, conventional questions as well during my preparation. So, like RCC. So, this helps to minimize my error. And I do not have to revise much because uh, I have attempted the conventional questions like in exchange of materials. So, once you attempt all these questions, this will help you uh, to gain all concepts, sir. Okay. In depth analysis. Yeah, yes, you sir. might have tried this uh, PUA quiz or the gate exam also thoroughly, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, how many times you have solved them? Sir, uh, in uh, I have solved it many times, sir. Last year I have also attempted, but uh, not able to make it. So, in the last 15 days, last 15 days was very important for me before the actual exam. So, I have solved all the previous year questions of 25 years or 20 years. 20 years old, previous year questions, I have solved it all. In 15 yeah. days. I have yeah. covered entire subject, sir, in 15 days. Okay. Mr. Shaki, we said that last year also you gave the gate exam, but yes, you are not so successful, such a good rank. So yes, please sir. tell us uh, uh, what mistakes you did last time and what did you learn and uh, how you have changed your uh, preparation and got this uh, sixth rank this time. Sir, uh, last year I was short of time and I was in my fourth year, so I have not attempted much uh, test series of gate and my I, I have shifted my focus and to the uh, engineering services. My entire focus was shifted from gate to engineering services. And since time was a constraint, so um, I have not given much importance. That's why I have, I have lost there. But I did well, but unfortunately not able to make into the final list in EAC, sir, last year, sir. Okay. In my and one year. thing, uh, Shakib, uh, many students uh, say, and uh, we too know it, right? For uh, cracking the gate examination, it required to have good, uh, what to call, numerical problem solving skills yes sir so how could you get this uh, practice of these questions 
sir earlier i have mentioned that i used to solve the conventional questions oh. so once you will solve the conventional questions uh, you are preparing for the eac exam as well so once you will solve these questions this will uh, help you boost your confidence you will get all what is delivered in the class you will able to understand really well once mm. you solve these conventional questions and uh, if you are able to solve it correct accurately then uh, it will help to boost your confidence there will no need to revise the formulas since uh, you are al already putting it uh, multiple times in this questions so that's why there i have got the confidence uh, of numerical questions solving yes yes see many students say that for revision purpose the short notes is going to be highly useful yes sir in your case uh, have you prepared any such a short notes sir i have not prepared any short notes sir, because uh, in during my ac uh, itj preparation one teacher used to say me that there is no use of uh, uh, short notes but i was i was very influenced by him so from that from there onwards i do not have the habit of making a short notes Okay, yes, sir. That oh, is yes. how personal and student-specific yes, sometimes sir. also. Yes, sir. Student -specific. It depends, sir. Uh, so how we used to revise then? Suppose you want to revise one subject quickly. Then what source that you used to follow there? Sir, uh, I used to, since uh, this is my second attempt. So uh -huh. that's why. And uh, sir, uh, I used to first uh, go through the notes, class notes, which I have made it in the class. And... Uh, then uh, sir uh, it takes me one one day for oh. going through the notes mm. it consumes my one day and then uh, two to three days i used to solve the questions of that subject and after solving the questions of pyq gate eac then i go for the test series of that uh, subjects so this helps me sir in this right. way mm. i i used to complete the entire subject in four, three to four days or five days okay well uh, shakib uh, one one more question. In the last three to four days of uh, before the gate examination, yes, sir. What did you do exactly, sir? Uh, as I mentioned, that I have covered an entire subjects uh, of uh, in fifteen the in last fifteen to sixteen days. So my aper, a, my sole aim is to solve as many questions of PYQ as possible, and from the core civil engineering subjects like soil mechanics, environmental engineering, uh, highway. So these are some important subjects, sir. Which uh, mathematics, uh, aptitude. These are some important subjects, and you cannot afford to make mistake in exam from these subjects. So uh, my pure focus was to uh, was on these subjects in last uh, three to four or five days, so that uh, I should minimize the error. And if uh, any question comes out of the previous year of or previous year concept uh, or similar to that. I may solve it as quickly as possible. Okay. So yes. on the day of the gate examination. Yes, sir. In the gate examination hall. So did you follow any specific order of attend in the question? Otherwise, you went on answering as they appear on the screen. Sir, uh, I was appearing uh, from question one to question 65. I used to solve it one by one, one by one. By one. In the same order as they appeared, right? Yes, sir. Because... Uh, uh, we need to solve the questions, sir, sir uh, as much as possible. So I think that, uh, okay, let's uh, begin with a serial wise. Okay. And uh, if you have attempted six to seven questions correctly, then it will boost your confidence further. So, but uh, in EAC, sir, I will prefer to go through the questions and which are easier, you must solve it first. Okay. Yes, sir. Right. Okay. Uh, Mr. Shati, so from this experience, right? You got yes, successfully sir. rank of uh, six in the gate examination. Yes, so, uh, what suggestions and what tips that you want to share with the other aspirants of the gate examination in civil engineering? Sir, uh, I will suggest them that uh, they should prepare early, as early as possible, because uh, as you as you proceed, as you means uh, you passed out your college and your age will increase and the pressure will also increase with the age and the number of attempts. So clear the exam as early as possible and with full effort. Thinking that, okay, this is my last attempt. Oh, I have to study only for these three months or this four months. Then, sir, I, this is my motivation. So clear the exam as early as possible and I start as early as possible. And, sir, I mentioned earlier that I have neglected the gate part and I have focused on, only on the EAC. But uh, in case... Uh, 
yeah at the end uh, i was not selected so focus on both otherwise it will cost you one year if any exam went wrong in which you have focused more then it will cost you one more year extra one yes. very very valuable points mr shakib yes. shakib finally uh, this gate to sixth rank what are they going to do with this sir uh, my aim is to prepare for the ac sir and uh, i think that uh, if i will uh, work in this uh, upcoming 3 to 3 months sir, then i may get a uh, it may be able to secure a good rank in esc sir yeah we yes. to wish you that uh, mr shakib you should you will definitely get a good uh, rank in the ensuing in esc examination yes sir okay shakib thank you so much thank right you, sir thank you so much and i once again congratulate you and wish you all grand success in all your ensuing attempts thank you sir